beautiful. And this feels so clean. I love using the Diamond Manny Bit because you can really get in there and not worry about having to break the skin because this bit will never ever break the skin when you use it properly. And use it at a lo low speed. Right now I'm using it at 4,000 RPM. Max, did you see the poster who asked if you could market it to 10 years old? If what? If you could market it to 10 years old. The nails? Poster. Poster? Max, did you see the poster? Oh, the post probably. I did not. What, what, what about 10 year olds? Oh, thank you. Please pay attention. He will tell you everything he's doing and with that. The ASMR. This is the most important part is really making sure that everything is completely etched and filed. If there's any part of the natural nail that is not filed properly, that's what causes it lifting. That is the number one cause for lifting is lack of proper nail preparation. That's what we really gotta be really diligent and really careful and really get into all those nooks and crannies and make sure that everything is just the way you like it before you go in and do the next step. Okay, then, yes, the post. She had no clue what you were using the video with bubblegum gel and wanted to know how you could use it over already painted nails. I explained to her that it was what it was mm -hmm. and she asked if you marketed the 123 girl for 10 years. So she wanted to get the nails for her 10 year old child? Kids to wear nails, yeah. To wear nails. I ain't the popo. And then one little coat of primer. One coat only. I never use any kind of alcohol product to cleanse. You guys can see in all of our videos, we never, ever, ever use any kind of alcohol. Yeah. I get asked sometimes, like, what do you think is a good age for my child to wear nails? And it's like, well, it's not really for me to decide. That's up to you. It's a parent's choice. Hello. So what was she asking? Like, how can you do the nails on a 10-year-old or? She wanted to know if you made 10-year-old sizes. Well, we don't make press-on nails. We make full coverage gel nails. You know what I mean? So she was like, Ooh. she was really off her, off the point. Not paying attention. Yeah. She can go to Walgreens and get some little press-ons for her, <laughs> for her child, if yeah. that's what she wants. She probably didn't want something that was, you know, going to be long-lasting and durable. So we're going to go in with a little coat of <laughs> pink press on gel on her nail. Oh, thank you, love. You as well. Actually, the weather's quite nice today. You know what it is. I thought it was going to be really cool. Oh, Antonio, you're the best. She said, don't worry, I can work you. She's like, I schooled her. That's a cute little brush you're Which one? This one? To apply the base job? Nice, even coat. And this is going to make the nail very easy to soak off too. And also, give her nail a nice, you know, little color of pink.
Yes. Do you guys have any more orders? There's no printer? What's, um, Yasmin doesn't have it? You can put your hand in. The promo code for free shipping right now is SHIP22 and the promo code is valid for free shipping on any order in the United States and all American territories. Max, your mail is yes. shine. Thank you, love. I'm from Germany. Hi, guten tag. Hello, funny cut you like. I'm wearing Wonder Gel and then on top of Wonder Gel I'm wearing a down top because I only like, I only like one coat of color and then I like a lot of top coat to make my nail really thick. And then because Sherry loves her nails really skinny mini, I like to pinch the cuticle. No, we have uh, impresos. Y por qué no lo has Porque sí, porque la la ya no tenía. Bueno, para que le den a Yasmin para que de este haga. Please. Hi, I'm from New Orleans. When is Mardi Gras? Is it going on right now? Your winter free gel is great for people with thin smooth nails. You can check it out now. Beautiful. So now we're going to apply using clear bubble gum gel. I'm taking my cuticle pusher to scoop it out. Don't scoop it out with your fingers, like out of the jar, just, you know, common sense. Huh? Yeah, it's not the same. 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 And then, does anybody know why it's okay to touch the gel with your finger? Ugh, that's one of the number one question I get, and I answer it almost every day, and people still ask. <laughs> this one's good enough for the thumb, this one's a little bit too big. If you feel like your bead is too big, you can cut, see? Ah, entonces dile a una de ellas que las empaque para que no estén allá atrás. Es más importante que saquen los pedos de que estén acomodando allá atrás. That's right. Everything. Even languages that haven't been invented yet. And it's hypoallergenic. There we go. Okay. Oh, son de la lesa. Pero y de este, las otras dos que están haciendo. Acomodando. Sí, nomás hace falta que les pongan, en, sí, nomás hace falta que los empaquen o que los uh, corran con una o dos nomás. Y las etiquetas. So now let's freeze these on. Apply nice and firm. Squeeze everything out. And hold. So I'm freezing it just because her nail bed is um, not super even, just because it has some high and low spots. So by do freezing it in place, it just makes it easier so that way I don't have to worry about the nail going anywhere. Do you know what I mean? And it freezes like literally in just a few seconds. Te how far technology has come. I think when people criticize me touching it, it's like they probably don't know that, you know, they're probably stuck in their old ways and they don't realize that people strive and work in product development and research and improving technology and doing new things. Because, I mean, if we were not doing what we're doing now, we'd still be doing what we were doing 20, 30 years ago. And that's not how fashion works. That's not how cosmetics work. We've got to strive for improvement and new things.
But all, it always happens. People always criticize what they don't know, what they fear. The change. There we go. Now we bake it for one minute. What's everybody saying? The white, we don't make white. Clear. Right. See, the lady doesn't even know what she was talking about. Because... Why don't I have gloves on? Huh. Because of the plague. There. <laughs> What's someone that, like, there was a... Leprosy. There you go. Leprosy. That's why. Because of leprosy, that's why we don't wear gloves. We're sp spread on leprosy. <laughs> We're gonna open up a colony in Hawaii. Like they did a long time ago. <laughs> now make sure those sides are nice and straight. And file the free edge. A lot of people don't wear nails, uh, gloves when they do nails. Yeah, I don't wear gloves. My mom never wore gloves when she did nails. You know, when I worked in a salon with a whole bunch of other nail technicians, uh -huh. I don't think anybody ever wore gloves. Only when they did pedicure, some of them would wear gloves. But other than that, I mean, it comes down to personal choice wearing a glove or not. It doesn't, mm -mm. it doesn't affect the way the product sticks or adheres or any. It doesn't make you any more professional. It doesn't make you any less professional to wear gloves. I'm sorry. And we're back. I have the worst Wi-Fi, I swear. And it's so expensive because it's commercial Wi-Fi. Is it? It's a lot more? Yeah, and you would expect it to be really good and it's not. And my video is always freezing or dropping. It's like, why? Maybe because all the computers that we have up in here. Both sides are nice and straight, and razor sharp. Beautiful. Yeah. Now let's blend in the cuticle for the fantasy, for the win. Oh, she's like, typo, because she wrote Bible gum. Bible gum. <laughs> <laughs> let's blend in the cuticle. We're going to use the Power Top Fit. Really gently going around that cuticle phalange and blend, blend, blend. Mm -hmm. 
the president's day cell code? What about it? What is it? Oh, it's ship 22, yeah. Yes, ship 22. In one of my videos, I said Memorial Day. Oh, look, oops. <laughs> Same thing almost. Right? I should just make a general one and be like, federal holiday! <laughs> so I'm actually going back in with the diamond uh, mani bit to go in and just really refine the cuticle area and make sure that it is really nice and snatched and that there is no product touching the skin and refining her cuticle area too because remember this is almost like a, a microdermabrasion for the finger. I like to turn my head over to make sure. Look at that blend. What? When one girl says she needs a glove, she masks at her salon. It's a special to the public. Uh-huh. She doesn't own a salon. And that's a... Whatever you want to wear, whatever you want to do, it's your personal choice. And whatever is required by where you live. I'm pretty sure some salons ask for proof of vaccination and others don't. And that's none of my business. We're here to show you the techniques and how to do it. We'll show you, here to show you the fantasy. The end is nice and even. Just really gently refine the side, refine the side. I'm using a 180 grit right now, just to make sure everything is nice and even. And we have those sharp lines that we want. Because remember, the clean shape of a nail is sharp lines. So when you're filing, you only want to see that center line of the file. And that's how you'll know you'll have nice and even, sharp, straight, symmetrical phalanges. The best. That's right. Well, it's just me, but the UK hair max. Could someone possibly give me some advice on what things I will need to start up my own, please? I want to purchase things from you, but have no idea where to start, so there is so much. Uh huh. I don't understand the question. Mm. Start up your own but purchase? The website's right there. Mm. So now we're going to go in with smoothie. And then we're going to buff the top surface of the nail. That way we can apply our gel color. Oh, that's okay. What do you need to start up a business? Like to do nails? 
uh, I would probably take a class, take a, a nail course on uh, everything so that way you're well trained and, you know, have a good, strong background in the wonderful world of nails. Because education is king. Because product you have that done already. If you're using ours, I mean, that's already half of the, uh, the battle. I really want that buffer. You know, couture.com. We're going to go in with one coat of a pink number three, which is the most universal, the most perfect nude shade in the galaxy. It's a beautiful color. Are we going to Ojo Locos tonight or Bojangles? Both. <laughs> First Ojo Locos for pregame and then Bojangles for the win. The hideout. Right? Or the rooster inn. <laughs> yep. Famous Sam's on Cardinal and Valencia. <laughs> Is that still that's there? Still there I think. Really? Yeah, I think that's the only one, huh? They actually make really good pastrami sandwiches there too. Really? Yeah. If you like pastrami, they're pretty good. Courtney Hello, love. Hello, love. Isn't this like the perfect move, you guys? And you can do one or two coats. We're doing just one today because we're gonna use the Ultra Moon. And remember, the A Pink line is A3 and 1. So you can use it as a base shell, you can use it as a natural nail strengthener, and as a color. We're just using her as a color today. It's a lush color. Yes, but which one, two, three nails are those guys? Long sculpted coffin. Mm -hmm. It's worth Beautiful. Let's bake this for 30 seconds. I swear, I want to get like my YouTube and just throw it across the room because it literally plays the same song every single day in every single, like, the same order. <laughs> it's so annoying. Ooh, she knows what's up if she knows what the reef is. She must be a local. So You're let's local, do girl. Ultra Moon. You make me smile. I don't know why, but you do. And now we're doing one nice even coat of Ultra Moon Cat Eye Gel. Yeah, she has black as a base and she has ultra star. And Cherry has nude, a pink number three as a base, and she has ultra moon on as the cat eye. Right now they look kind of like a 90s eyeshadow blue effect. But wait till we activate that cat eye. So get your magnet, we're gonna run it along the edges to activate the pigments. <laughs> Let me see what way the line's going on that hand. Hold the magnet as close to the nail as possible for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then you got that beautiful dope design. I'm not local, Max. Just... <laughs> I'm not local, Max. Just let us know his hangouts. The spots. 
<laughs> the boat? The reef? The reef. Oh. I wonder if people still go there. <laughs> right? Because the boat is, I mean... You don't want to go to the boat. <laughs> Bourbon Street Circus, do you remember that one? Mm -hmm. That was a long time ago. It was Bourbon Street Circus and then it was Venom and then... No. The candy store and I now it's Venom. Candy. I know. When I pay so much in internet, you guys don't want to know how much we pay in internet services because it's it'll make some, somebody cry. Did you guys finish in the room, Mr. Roundface? Yeah, of course. Let's go ahead and bake this for 30 seconds. Abril, but I'll be in Get some diamonds for her ring finger. Them, can't live without him. She wants to be in a movie. She wants to talk to a celebrity. Oh, this one wants to know where are you at? Disneyland. The boat, bag, candy, hmm. And then we have one that's all everything goes. It's fully. It's full fantasy. It's called. Um, it used to be called the Bunny Ranch, right? But now it's called Eden's. edges are nice and sealed. Look how glossy it is. Stunning. Turn your hand upside down for me. Mm -hmm. Wipe the side. Just remove any excess that might have ran before we cure to keep the nail looking as skinny mini as possible. Bake that 30 seconds. No wonder. I was playing it at normal speed. We're gonna get this video taken down. Uh -oh. I just changed it. I just realized that. That's crazy that they do that. Super strict. With my profile account. And then we're gonna take diamond memories and I'm going to use one of the luxuries diamond memories. Okay, here we go. That was smart, Max. There we go. Next time somebody asks me, like, why did you touch the bubblegum gel with your finger? I'm gonna say because Camilla Parker Bowles told me to. 
who is now going to be the Queen of England. She said it was okay, so it's okay for her. It's good enough for me. What's so fun? Oh, what did she say? Skinny mini. I'm gonna freeze it with my flashy now. And then here on my little tiara palette, I have a mixture of diamond gel mixed with bubblegum gel, just to give a little thicker viscosity. And I'm gonna use it to go around the edges of the diamonds and to apply some smaller ones around too. One little dab, I'll do it right here so you guys can see. One little dab of diamond gel and one little dab of dumb top. I hope you love it, love. And then we're just gonna add a few AB stones to make it an odd number. Remember you guys, rhinestone work always needs to be an odd number so that way it looks really beautiful. Love, love your work. Oh, thank you. Okay, now we're going to bake this for one minute. Yeah. Love memories. Especially the ultra uh -huh. family memories because we get some really dope big ones and they're so sparkly. Yes, and super affordable too. A lot of people are sleeping on our rhinestone. Really? Yeah. Really? All of your stuff. Mm-hmm. 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 No, the cookie. Cookie flashy and the um, play color palette. Of course, with some delicious cotton candy cuticle oil. Remember, after the hands come out of the lamp, we wait 10 seconds to let the nails finish the polymerization process, and then we apply. about a pet? <laughs> I just saw pet. Yeah. What, what, what about a pet? A pet? I 
A penthouse pet. <laughs> And turn on the hard light and turn off the overlight so that way we can see that ultra moon in full effect. Beautiful. Is the flash on? Yes. And there you have it, my loves. That's going to be our demo for today. The fantasy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yes. And I hope you guys have fun. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. Except by your...